I remember this uh, one particular time. We were playing on the road, and I get it. I understand how unruly uh, an opposing team's crowd can be, which is part of the game. It's part of sport. And I remember coming out of a tunnel, and we're standing there getting ready to be introduced to the, on the field. There was a gentleman, white gentleman, uh, and his buddies uh, drinking, and they were looking down on the players. And I kind of looked up and he said, yeah, boy, I'm talking to you. And I looked up and he was like, you hear me, boy? And he started saying stuff like, you gonna get your black feet out there. We're gonna take you back to the South. We're gonna tar and feather your And I looked and I was shocked and I was like, excuse me? And I said, tar and feather? And he looked down he was like, yeah, boy, we're going to drag you. We're going to drag your black out there. And I said, what's your name? And he was, my name is, you know, he told me his name, Stan. We'll say Stan for the sake of this story. I'm an athlete. Like, I couldn't reach up and grab this guy down. And, and it, it, you know, he's, uh, I guess, protected by the stadium. And we see a lot of these type of things happening in all sports. And I remember playing the first half and going in uh, through halftime. And I walked right back through that tunnel and Stan wasn't there, but one of his friends were. And he was like, hey, number 74. And I look up and he was like, hey man, sorry about my butt. Sorry about my friend, man. He's an idiot, right? I go back into the locker room and it just made me think all while Stan was doing that and he was there. His friend never one time grabbed him and said, hey, that's inappropriate. Don't do that, right? It was after the fact, after Stan wasn't there, that he said, hey, look, I'm not with him, basically. He's an idiot, I'm not with him. You know, that's just a small thing when you talk about racism and uh, being silent and turning a blind eye. When you have a friend or you're in involved with someone who's 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 being like who's speaking like that to others if you don't say anything if you feel it's wrong and you don't share those same sentiments if you don't say anything then you're perpetuating the problem you're part of the problem instead of being part of the solution